First up is uh, Jeffrey Bernardikoff. Uh, he's going to be telling you about Houston Hook, uh, a project formerly known as ZMongo Admin. And uh, he's going to be telling you about using Houston Admin hosted externally on Meteor. Right. Well, I actually, it's a, a bit of a change of plans. Um, I'll just be discussing a use case of Houston, um, but it's still going to be on Houston. Uh, so I've given a talk about Houston before, previously known as ZMongo Admin. And Alexei, and many of you might know him, uh, has also given a talk about Houston. And what Houston is, uh, very simply, is just uh, one of the an atmosphere package, a meteorite package, that just plugs straight into your app and lets you access uh, MongoDB without having to insert undefined from the terminal, or insert null from the terminal, or whatever else Slava was doing at the time. Um, so I'll, I'll get, it, lets you, it lets you just view your data. So um, it was actually very useful for a uh, production web app that we were using at PenApps. So PenApps is a, a hackathon hosted at the University of Pennsylvania. It's actually kind of comical because Houston was built at a Meteor hackathon here about a year ago, or nearly a year ago. And here we're using it at another hackathon that I run uh, called PenApps. So all, all it is is uh, this is just a very simple Meteor application that just you have a form, you type in your email, so I'm a Penn student, um, Jeff, Penn, LinkedIn, username, username. Um, and then you just submit this form very simply. And then it gets added to like a big collection of applications. So we actually had about 2,500 applications um, to our hackathon. And we collected over like 4,000 emails. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, and we needed to figure out a way of very easily ranking the applicants. So very easily ranking the applicants and then like figuring out like which that, like we only admitted I think 800 out of these 2,500. Um, we needed to figure out like which third to admit, which third to put on the wait list, and then which third to completely reject. So uh, Houston actually made it very simple to do this and all it took was just Meteorite or MRT add Houston and then just deploy it um, and, it all, and Houston gave us automatically a slash admin route that lets us see every collection and number of records we have in each of these collections. So these are emails we collected. We collected about 4,000 emails, and they're all, all here, all in this huge collection of emails. Uh, apparently, some of them are not legitimate emails. Here's someone saying hello to me, um, apparently. Um, but anyway, these emails will be, uh, are farmed uh, so that we can have more applicants next year. And then the applications themselves are right here. So here is the additional info, here is the email of the person, here is their GitHub, here's their LinkedIn that they submitted, here's their name, school, um, and some team info that some people submitted. So we had a uh, committee of about five or six looking at these applications, and each of them were assigned about five to 600 applications. And Houston actually made it very easy to rank these applications. So what we did is we just added a field called first rank, uh, first rank, I think, um, rank. We just added a field called rank and a field called second rank, as you can see here and here. And uh, Houston hooks onto any time you add a, add a new field to a document, and so. Uh, it made uh, it de defaulted all of them, I think, to either undefined or null, or I guess now I know that they're both the same. So uh, defaulted to null for uh, every document in the in the collection. Uh, and then we had the, our uh, committee members go down and uh, rank all of the all the people, and uh, it was very simple to search. So we had some people do the A's, all the people who, who all every applicant whose name started with A. Get some people to B's, C's, and so on. And uh, this is just a very simple use case of Meteor, uh, Houston. If you want to check out Houston, it's on Atmosphere and up on GitHub. Uh, I think that's, that's it. Questions? No, questions. Nope, no questions. Uh, go ahead. Uh, the question was, did I use packages for table editing? Um, it was just very simple bootstrap CSS that I just inject into, uh, into whatever the, your CSS is. So I, I remove all of your, the CSS of the app itself. So if you saw like the application had its own CSS, I remove that and then 
add bootstrap. Nope, no other questions? Cool. That's Houston.